you may have thought this channel was all about fixing stuff and breaking stuff and showing you some how to's and all that but that's not that's not all we do down here at grease monkey tv used cars trucks airplanes boats and weed eater line sales we're gonna sell you an rv today it's got a huge radiator in the back which means it's got an engine in the back which just happens to be a big old fat cummins coupled to an allison transmission which apparently is real good the sucker's got a tow hitch on it in case you ever want to pull your jeeps apparently you're supposed to get a jeep if you have a motor home and you want to tow something with so this does not come with a jeep that's sold separately this thing's got slide outs on the side with little awnings that come out with them so like the rain doesn't get inside or something probably back here and we got a cord for this it plugs in so when you go to a camping ground you plug it in right there air filter big old tailpipes for when you want to roll coal behind here's like the hydraulics and fuel and air onboard air or something like that docking lights i think right here's a bunch of water stuff where you hook water up and then holds water and then your poopy and your pee pee tanks and your shower tanks they drain out in this this thing you pull this out and hook this slinky hose they call that the stinky hose stinky slinky something like that i'm just learning all this rv lingo lingo from watching matt's rv sales or something so pretty much an expert already this is what you call pass through storage storage passes all the way through to the other side it does that here and to also and it does it on this all the way across you can put fuel in this this uh, camper motorhome bus coach all the above you can put it from either side so none of that if you go to the sams you know and you're on the wrong side to get fuel you put gas on either side of this thing it's pretty freaking awesome here's a bunch of fuses and wires so that's all right there and if you pull these off and you pull this cover off behind that is more fuses and wires now around the front it's got another engine another diesel engine that's right you get not only one diesel engine but two diesel engines on these endeavors look at there onan quiet diesel 7500 7500 means something it's 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 one higher than 74.99 these headlights are automotive style i buffed those out myself they were all hazed over i thought you know what headlights safety third get those babies shined up we do have chrome simulators all these tires have like a half inch of tread on them that's right a half inch see that scientific measurements we use that all the time so here's the other side where you put that diesel in both sides look at this pass through storage over there go deer hunting from this side and they couldn't see you anyway there's the other storage this is uh i think the furnace this is access for the refrigerator because i read the manual hot water heater goes here because it says hot that's how you know it's for the hot water heater this side over here has a ginormous which i'm not real sure how many gallons ginormous is like 70 or 180 or 3000 gallon propane tank right here it's got about this much so you turn it on right there so that's pretty cool the docking lights on the other side more of those shiny chrome simulators also just this year i went down and bought six of these batteries for this thing which is a bunch of money and they're interstate too we didn't go cheap and buy those walmart never starts let's look at there look at the date on there eight of 20 on those batteries so less than a year old and back here is the last little window or this thing right here is your onboard charger so when you plug it in on the other side with that big old huge cord charges them expensive batteries i think you get on the top with this ladder i don't know if you saw in the stores there's a, a ladder you hang on this ladder in case you can't climb up because this is about six feet high just to this first rung so 
you pretty much need to be a monkey. Not a grease monkey, like a real live monkey from the jungle. So there's a camera and a microphone. You can hear stuff on the TV in the front. Also, there's a big old awning that comes out on this side, covers pretty much all your area where you probably wanna, I don't know, set up your little campground area or something. Play cards outside. I don't know what old people do. There's another awning just for the doorway right here. And since the door's open, this thing is open. Watch this here. Take that Cadillac Escalade. Look at that. It's pretty sweet right there. Also, you get yourself a screen door. Hey, you kids, get in here for dinner. You know what I'm talking about? So here we are at the cockpit and the passenger co-pilot seat. They got buttons too. They can push on and they do stuff. These are shades buttons. Look here. What's scary is there's one on the driver's side too. Here's a television, flat screen. I can tell because it's not curved. Antenna stuff up here. There's where you hook up more stuff to the TV, like a VHS player. Got storage everywhere you look, storage in this thing. Storage all over it. I hung these Christmas trees up here because I love them. Uh, anyway, there's another chair. This couch makes out into a bed. I put a pretty new mattress in there because the other one was sort of rotten. It's got two shades on all the all the windows, like a shade that you can see through, kind of. And then it's got a shade that, you know, for bouncing. It's got two AC units on the roof. I imagine they both heat and cool. But it's got, like, that's probably pretty fancy. This thing's like a 2002 model, so that's probably the latest tech back then. Here's the kitchen where your woman works. Got a dual sink with covers on it. That's a like Corian or something like that. That's probably a trademark name. That's not what they really are, but I don't know. I like the sound of it. There's all hard countertops. And then this lifts up. So where your woman wants to cook you something right there, that stays out of the way. It's pretty awesome. It's gas. Runs off that ginormous propane tank. Convection microwave oven. Got a little toilet, little spin around plate in there. Storage all over the place. Pretty good size uh, refrigerator. Look at that French door. French door refrigerator. I mean, only the finest of homes have this, much less motor homes. Then here's a double freezer up top. French door freezer with a uh, ice maker. So you can make ice and store ice cream. There's a bathroom with a pooper in there. A little cabinet. Fart fan, exhaust, lights. Even has uh, the central heat and air comes out in there in case you spend all day like kids do. Here's a panel with a bunch of buttons and switches on it. So peruse all of that. I think it'll tell you like where all your tanks and stuff are. Watch this here. You mash this button on the front. And look at here. The living room gets bigger. Look at this thing. What I'm saying right now is, there's so much room for activities. I'm over six foot tall and I can just lay in the floor. Look at this. That's pretty awesome. You know what I'm saying? Now that gives us access to more of this storage. I'll tell you one thing my woman likes is having a lot of storage. This thing's got a bunch of it. So, you know, worth every dime. Here's the bathroom. So there's a sink. It's got storage above it and storage below it. This thing here is like a linen closet, I guess. Store stuff in there. And then this little shower. Luxurious right there. Got a little relief in there for, for tall people. Even with a hat on, I still got tons of room. That's probably a seven foot tall. That's pretty good. Not too many NBA players probably shopping for one like this. Actually, they probably are now that I made this video. There's storage all over this thing. Every one of these cabinets all around. Down low, there's cabinets. Up high, there's cabinets. Look at this thing. 
this is a closet access from either side extra uh, screen in there i know where that goes got a closet rod and light I'm telling you right now oh it's, this thing ain't all the way out yet but if it is you can access this cabinet look at all that the queen bed for your queen and doors that slide from both sides to close off you know the room back here where the action happens again all this stuff works all the heat and air as far as i know everything i've checked which is like one thing but uh oh yeah let's look at this this driver's seat right here ready for this wait for it to stop saying wait to start That Cummins diesel turbo engine purrs like a kitty cat. There's where you put it in gear. Parking brake, spit cup, does not come with it. Maybe with negotiable. Air horn. That's what I'm talking about. Let's go out here and listen to that baby purr. Some of y'all probably want to hear it. I don't mind if I do. Listen here. Yeah, you like that sound, don't you? sounds like America. This thing drives like a dream. I'll go ahead and let you know that right now. So if you're interested in this motor coach, I'll put a price at the end of this video on the screen because I don't even know what to ask for, to be honest with you. Send me a message down below uh, and let me know if you're interested or hit messenger. Or, if you have questions about it, I don't have the answers, but I do have an owner's manual. I feel like my review and going over this thing's probably covered every possible square inch and anything you could even ask about it. So we're probably all set and good to go. Boomer, come on. Boomer, come on. Yeah. <laughs> Boomer, come on. <laughs>